Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Cold War once again. So that's right. Today we're back on Cold War, and honestly, I don't know what we're doing today. We're just kind of playing it, and yeah, I don't really know what we're doing. We might honestly just kind of chill, play the game again, kind of like what we did in the last video. I don't really know. I'm just gonna try to have fun a little bit. And yeah, let's just see what happens. <laughs> So this, I mean, I'm, dude, look at how pretty jungle looks in this game, dude. Like, I remember when they added this into Black Ops 4, and even 3, and I remember how pretty it looked then, but it looks so good now, dude. I forgot that, I honestly forgot they even added it into this game, but dude, Black Ops Cold War is one of those games I feel like I can always just go back to and thoroughly enjoy it. Like, dude. Why are you sitting there, bro? Come on! But Cold War is one of those games I can honestly, like, honestly say I can go back to every year and truly enjoy my time playing the game. Also, I miss, like, this diamond camo. I miss when we had fun, you know, exciting camos in games. Now, granted, here's the thing. I am, I do enjoy <clears throat> the more milsim type character skins in Call of Duty. But when it comes to weapon skins, dude, I could give two craps, bro. Because weapon skins don't pull me out of the game. Character skins, those those pull me out. Relatively quickly, because you're that's what you're gonna see game to game. I'll sit here and with my this guy's aim too. But dude, Cold War is such a fun game, dude. I I I'll be honest, the COD cycle hit me with this game in a weird way. Because honestly, I felt like if this game and Modern Warfare 2019 switched places, it would have been better for me. Because Modern Warfare 2019 is a game that I absolutely adored. I felt Modern Warfare 2019 is the definition of a 10 out of 10 Call of Duty game. From its multiplayer, to its campaign, to, you know, Warzone was pretty good in that year. And there's a lot of, you know, things that were just good during the entire year of Modern Warfare 2019. You know, it did a lot of things wrong. And I think we can all... You just got... Dude, you just got absolutely destroyed, bro. I don't know what your plan was there, dude. But we can all agree that, you know, Modern Warfare 2019 had its faults. That is definitely a thing. Let's do the MP5 in this game. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I should have had him, man. My thing. Okay, I gotta say, there's no one, only one going positive, right? He's dead. Fuck you, kid. Bro, I'm kind of sad that we are getting pooped on right now, bro. This is actually, like, saddening me. Because I'm having a blast playing this, and, like, I'm just chilling, dude. I, this MP5 is amazing, but, like, dude, why are we getting pooped on here? Actually, it's a lot. I know exactly why. There's only two of us going positive. What just happened, bro? Already. I don't know, man. I, no, dude, the mall, the mall map, bro. The pines, what they called it. I miss this map, dude. This was such a cool map, in my opinion. You know, it's the first time we ever saw a Call of Duty game take place in a more, you know, I, I say present environment, a more relatable area. Because in Call of Duty, you know, it's always, you know, oil fields, it's random freaking places in the last, like, you know, few years, except for maybe, uh, you know, Black Ops 2 and maybe Modern Warfare 2 and 3, uh, the originals. But it's, oh gosh, I love this map, dude. Sniping on this map was a ton of fun. Just, man, Cold War in of itself is just a great game that I just didn't give enough of a chance to because I was just too busy playing Modern Warfare 2019. I felt Modern Warfare 2019, like, if this game and Vanguard flipped years, um, I would have played this game in a Modern Warfare 2 2022 with how the game's currently going. The issue with the, with the game I have with this game is I experienced all of it, you know? The game's not getting updates. The last update we got was WMD, which was obviously, honestly, great map of choice. Loved it. And I just felt like the game, you know, needed a little bit more work, and they definitely got the work. Also, this is completely a Black Ops 3 item, is it not? Like, is that not from the BO3 campaign? I knew they were both going to push that. Didn't know he was going to be there, though. Okay. But, dude, Black Ops Cold War, man. I'm such a great game. What is my man's doing, bro? I heard footsteps. I was like, where are those footsteps coming from? 
I was like, wait, I was thinking like, where are they at? Like, I can't, I can't tell. Totally just shot my teammate. Thank goodness this isn't hardcore. I would have just melted him. Get stuff. Come on, man. I was hoping that would have went a little bit higher than it did, but that grenade definitely did not go where I wanted it to. The only gripe I honestly had with Cold War, I felt, was the skill-based matchmaking in the game's main year. You know, we could say that about every current pop. That man really just let that man run past me. And he killed him. What are you doing, bro? My aim is terrible, don't mind me. Frick off, dude. Oh, standoff. Y'all just want to give me Black Ops 2 just to make me happy, bro. Y'all just want to give me the best time ever. So, Activision um, has officially been bought out by Microsoft. Because, you know, I, I just thinking about this because, you know, we're playing a Black Ops 2 map. So, all the old Call of Duty games can now be played safely on Xbox, which is a great thing. Except, I played on PlayStation 3. So, I can't do that. Safely, at least. Because it's not backwards compatible. Which, now that this has happened, um, I do wonder if, you know, now that we they've been bought out, I wonder if we are going to see a shift in, you know, focused on the community and, like, community requests, things like that. So, like, maybe we'll see, you know, creators who actually, you know, make content on the game, who actually play the game, go to these big, larger events for Call of Duty, you know, with Treyarch's next game after Modern Warfare 3. And to see if we'll actually get, you know, things we want, whether it's, you know, classic prestiges, which is what I personally, which is what I know a lot of people do want. If it's things like classic prestiges, you know, the more traditional leveling system, you know, certain camos, better events, you know, more earnable items. I'm really hopeful that that is what will come out of this acquisition and that we'll just see our older COD games be playable. And we're already have seen a change to that. The only downside is, as someone who plays on PlayStation, I can't access that content safely. So, what I'm wondering is if we get enough noise about it, if at some point, because PlayStation 3 games are able to be streamed on this game, on this console, if we will see backwards compatibility updated to where you can play PS3 games here on the PlayStation 5 going forward which to me would be absolutely genius and it, it needs to happen like I'll, I'll be honest you know we really do need to see the, the ability to do that to experience the games that you know i paid you know 120 dollars you know 100 over 100 bucks lot you know you years ago to play that i can't even access half that content anymore because a people aren't playing the games and b i can't do it safely without getting the chance of running into cheaters who can pull my IP, you know, get stuff out of my console. Not that anything is saved on my old PS3, but you know, for those people that have that, you know, we can't play it safely at all. I'm not sure what that guy's plan was at all with that freaking Bowie knife. He's dead. Here, load. I definitely went up top. Didn't see him at all. I'm not sure how he didn't physically see me. Or forget how far you can throw the sim text in this game. And I crossed on somebody. But the LC-10 is so... I should be dead. I'm sorry. The spawn protection definitely saved me there. That's such BS. That's why I... Is this guy shooting bodies? Dude, you're going negative, dog. And you're shooting bodies, bro? Didn't even do anything too impressive. I was looking at my mini-map. I'm not looking at my screen. If anybody has the authority to shoot my body, it's this Zyklon kid. Because he's doing great. He is absolutely shredding right now, bro. I will give him that. He's the only guy that can shoot my body. Is that, that Zyklon kid? I'll give that to him. That other kid? No, bro. And sh dude, honestly, shooting bodies is so stupid, dude. You're shooting bodies just to go negative. How sad. It'd be different if, you know, he outsmarted me, you know, outplayed me. That You can shoot my body then, but dude, for just killing me normally. I just pooped on you. Oh, I'm so dead here. Never mind. Damn. Look at that. Can't even kill me, bro. Oh, you definitely kill me, though. 
You know, if we lose this game, I can 100% say that I am the reason because I have no hard point time at all. My team definitely has hard point time. I definitely don't. I got flashbang. Can't see. We need to hold this next hard point, though. I'm going to try and get on it. I don't know where it's at, though. I can't remember if it's... I think it's that building. Nice little triple kill. Good pop up the UAV. Sinister, was it really worth shooting bodies, bro? And if anybody on your team who could, Zyklon, bro, you are goaded. I want you to know that. Just so you know. You bro, the man went 30 and 33. I closed my case.